Welcome to Fast Tip Friday. This is Amy Bowser Rollins with Litigation Support Guru. In today's tip, I want to show you how to use column mode in a text editor to insert a column. So in Notepad++, to get into column mode, if you go to Edit Column Mode, it doesn't actually turn it on, but it reminds you what the keystrokes are. So I'm going to use the Alt-Shift arrow key. So I want to insert a prefix in front of each of these Bates numbers. So I'm going to highlight the column. And then I'm going to go back into Edit, Column Editor. And my prefix is LSG. And you can see that I inserted LSG before each number. Now obviously, since this is a load file, I would also want to do it for the end document, the end Bates, but I'll save time not to show you that right now. Okay, so that's Notepad++. Let's do Ultra Edit. So Ultra Edit, you just go up to Column and then Column Mode, and then you put your cursor where you, in the column, that you want to add something. You don't have to go all the way down. And then go back into Column, Insert, and then put in LSG and you can see that it added LSG. And again, you would want to do it for the ending Bates number. Okay, so now let's switch to TextPad. Now, TextPad is a little bit more not, it's not intuitive, uh, which is why when I need to do this, I always use Alter Edit. So first you need to turn on Block Select Mode, and then you need to highlight a column. Now, instead of just like we did where you can just go down, like you can't highlight just a column without highlighting a character as also. So I've highlighted one column and then we're going to go to edit fill block and you won't see fill block unless you've also done the first two steps that we did. It'll be grayed out if you don't. Okay, so the characters I want to use are LSG and I want to do it in insert mode so you can see that it inserted. Okay, I hope you can put this tip to good use.